Hey YouTube, what's going on? John here. Um, today I want to show you how to add a transaction in iBank uh, for the Mac. Um, there's two different ways, or actually three different ways you can add a transaction to your account in iBank. The first being you can go right here and download transactions right from uh, accounts that you've set up to access your online banking since this is a test account uh, we can't do that here I can't go through that whole process um, so the next uh, option you can use is down here at the bottom you see the plus it says it's uh, add new transaction go ahead and click that and uh, pay e this let's say you went to Walmart so that Walmart would be your pay e and then category let's say you went uh, groceries these are some of these are predefined categories just in the iBank software. Um, and maybe you want to put a memo. Um, I don't know what you, what you want to put down here. Groceries. Say this is for uh, two weeks of groceries. So um, you can do that. And if you pay, say you paid with a check, you can have a check number. You have the date, and then you put in the amount. Let's say you spent 150. And then hit enter and it saves it and there you have your transaction transaction action listed right here um, with all the information payee the memo you put in the category the amount um, so that is one way you can uh, enter a transaction into your account for iBank another way is over here on the left you have scheduled transactions you click on that and this brings up a list of what you have for scheduled. Say you have a car payment every month on the uh, 27th of every month. So we can go in here and put, click the add button down at the bottom and uh, put in here what account it comes from. Um, the payee, let's just say Bank of America. And then category, auto, loan, or here, There's loan in there. Let's see. Let's see if I can find what's in here. Um, I don't see auto loan in here. Let's do auto. I wonder if it's under car payment. It might have been under car payment. Nope. So let's do auto loan. And this will act, this is actually going to ask me to create a new category for this since it's not actually in there. You can create this category right here. Auto loan. Put any note you want. Is it expense or is it income? Is it expense? Create category. And then we'll put in our amount. Say it's 200 And we'll save that and then that will automatically go uh, be posted to the your account every month on the 27th that way you don't have to go back and add that transaction in or download that transaction so those are three different ways you can add a transaction to your account um, if you have any comments or questions leave those down below um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel check out all my, all my other videos I've done and be notified when I have a new video um, and we'll catch you guys later. Bye.